had a fella uh, ask me what what part book manuals are you using? TC 26F McCormick Farm Oil Catalog book here. A and B, A, A, V, B, and B, N. This book right here, parts catalog, has been awesome. I mean, this is the king of king, man. I mean, it has, and, and I know you farm all dudes out there, you all know this. This gives you a breakdown of all the part numbers. I have taken part numbers out of this book to my Case IH dealer, and they say, yep. Now, you know, the funny thing is, is they, this has been changed many a times. You know what I mean? Where I could say, hey, the oil pressure gauge, I need a 43,987DB. And I'd take it down there and they'd say, oh, okay. Well, then they would say, well, that part number now is 356 something R1 or whatever. So, but it's still really cool because this book covers all kinds of cool stuff. And the lighting harness and everything, uh, really valuable book to own. You are restoring a tractor, a Farmall BA. Christ, I bet a lot of this is good for the 100 series and everything, but this is a must. Everybody's got to have a simplified valve lash adjusting procedure. My buddy Jim gave me that. This book was suggested to me. You know, I guess it's helpful. Some stuff is kind of helpful, but man, 32 bucks. I got the other stuff my buddy did even cheaper online. So I don't know if I'd buy this book. I'm not saying no, but I'm just saying is this man for the 30 bucks for the other manuals that I'm going to show you, they really they over they're a lot better. So here's the other Farmall manual. AB power unit service manual. This goes into some of the specifics about the tractor lubrication, uh, the pump and stuff. This book too is is a must. It is a must. It tells you the valve lashing. It tells you lashing and the, the wear of the main bearings and what the tolerances are. A whole bunch of, a bunch of nice little stuff. All this stuff. How to do the valve or the uh, gears and meshing the gears and stuff like that which I didn't ha I don't think I've got a problem there but it does it goes over a lot of stuff then at the very end let's see if I can find this because I got these two together where are you this is kind of cool too you get a poster of that that'd be slick then I have the owner's manual Farmall B tractor I don't know how much there is the difference between an A and a B, but farm all B tractor here. So it gives some specifics, you know, picture, pictures, you know, stuff. But really cool, cool books. And, you know, you start cross-referencing some of the specifications and stuff. It's a really nice book. This is worth it. Owner's Manual gives you the breakdown of how many hours to change your oil if you're working in the, all the key points for lubricating the tractor I mean awesome book they don't make stuff like this anymore okay, okay so we got the light painted and the most important thing for lights is to make sure that there is a continuity because these ground to the frame next thing we want to do is drop this bolt that I had to replace through the housing. Okay, so we have our dielect grease on here on this side of the light. Okay. All right, my friends, I have some really nice um, braided type of wiring. I bought enough 
that I should be able to cover all my 14 where my connector wires. is. I can feel it. It's right there. I'm going to cut. I'm going to take this and push it back. There right it is. There. Okay, here we go. Get these all hooked up here, just so I know after I get this harness hooked up. Or is right here to to go on around the post. Kind of spread them open. They go on here like this. All right. Let's put the next round on. This one's going to go right here. This side we can afford to, to put a little. Uh, extra loop in there. And yeah, I don't know. So we're about two inches. Two fingers. Okay guys, moving on. I made the little wire harness in the back. It's like the others, so you don't need to see all that stuff. I got that all set up. Next dilemma I have, of course, gas tank, everything is still loose. I'm not driving it home yet. Today we have to figure out getting this harness back here, having this harness connect up into it, and going up and into the box. So I can't decide if I want to run the rear taillight wire. I could cut a little little indentation in this, shove the wire through, run it through this all at one. And the same thing goes with the starter wire. This goes from the amp meter to the lug on the starter. This is what registers how many amps I'm on the, the meter. So in the book, in the diagram for the tractor, it shows this wire right here I'm talking about coming off of the starter and it actually goes through the clips in series all the way back and into the box. So technically it goes on the outside. Technically I could put it on the inside. Either or. Outside, inside, don't matter. The whole this is a voltage regulated system now not a cutout and so I mean there's nothing in my electrical system that makes so it original. So we got the battery box on just temporary and looking at my wiring harness how I wanted to, to feed through giving her a little little extra we're gonna come around okay and right here is where that clip is gonna be right here is where that clip is going to be. Good and clean. Got the tape off. Uh, now I got to get the starter. An idea how long my stuff has to be. So what I'm going to do is put dialect grease. Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do now is I'm going to elect to go through the harness. So in the process, I'm going to bring this out and run it in my wire. So I'm going to have it break off somewhere right here. I can even keep it, let's see if I go up there, right about here. Okay, so with the rear, rear light, okay, you can see this. We're going to bring her forward. I got enough slack in there in case I want to do anything extra special. And I'm going to bring it in right in about, I'm thinking, 
man, if I have that there, then there's going to be a clip here that holds the harness and the rest goes in. I'm going to snip after I, of course, I pull this. Which. That should be more than enough right there to get me started into my box. Battery, I determined was going to be red. This now wire right here is for my load. That means that this wire right here is going to be for my amp meter. Next thing that comes into play is determining how far over and in and up I need these wires to be. And I don't want to cut them short. Okay, bring this up and around and up like that. That should give me some grace right there. Okay, so we are up to putting the pretty amp gauge in. Okay guys, I got my wire lengthened up enough I believe to the right. Okay. The load's going to be treated special because it has to have the inline fuse. Okay. And this solder rosin core is fill that joint right up. 